Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 912-2019-1221 energies. The full moon energies are coming in now. It is a glorious moon tonight, almost full, as this divine feminine energy is coming in fully now. Today of the divine 44, the 44, the 144, the 77 coming in fully today, all day long. As I connected to two more divine goddesses today of the divine 44, one in Denmark and the other in Australia. As I connect with each of the 44, of the, my soul family, our soul team, as I transmit my codes to them and they transmit to me, it just keeps building, multiplying, magnifying as this potential builds and builds. I feel the internal codes, the inter internal fires fully activating. I told a couple of the divine goddesses that I may just internally combust by the end of this month after I connect with all on the team, all of the soul family, as I bring them all together. We will bring this energy to all of you after all the activations are done and the teachings, the trainings. So I thank the divine ones that have joined me so far along this journey of this great awakening, this mission of the ascension for all life in all realms. And with these energies coming in, it is the rise of the matriarchy, the divine feminine, the 944 just came through. The divine feminine rises up not to control or take over, to suppress or destroy the masculine. As divine masculine, we are here to support and ass assist the divine goddesses to rise up, rise up, rise up, to balance the fires, the divine waters of the feminine, the divine goddess, are rising to balance and harmonize these many, many years of fire energies, the masculine energy. So we are here as divine masculine to assist divine feminine to balance out these energies it is the prophecy of the eagle flying with the condor the masculine con eagle of the north coming together with the feminine condor of the south the masculine and feminine merge together to create the harmony and the balance for the energies of the new earth to fully manifest into this realm here now through all eternity so i thank you all that have joined me on this mission i thank each of you the conscious minds that have come to this field to this channel to assist all of humanity and to connect with myself and our team through for the greatest mission that has ever existed in all realms and all timelines so I appreciate each and every one of you. Aho meteako yasin, brothers and sisters of the light. So today's first transmission is from Linda Lee, Divine Mother God, on another incoming wave of ascension energies. The planet is going through yet another wave of ascension energies. We, the divine, have decided to make sure that all souls will have a chance to experience the divine energies and wake up to their divine within. The energies which are arriving are the energies made of my love and your Divine Father's light. Together we bring the planet and humanity home. The energies are more of the Divine Feminine in the sense that the energies are gentle and yet powerful. The gentle part is purposely designed so that the souls have a gentle awakening. The other aspect of the energies is the urgent feeling which is also the design. The souls need to feel a sense of urgency and start to wake up. That is the design also. Your father and I ha have worked together to create the energies for this particular time and souls so that the energies can be suitable for the moment and awaken the souls. Our intention is to wake up the souls who have been deeply asleep. The souls who have not awakened yet are the ones who are deep sleepers. They need a particular type of awakening energy, and that is what we, the divine, are sending to the planet at this time. Our sole purpose is to wake up the deep sleepers and make sure all the souls on the planet will have a chance. Your father and I want to make sure that all of the souls on the planet will ascend, and all of Gaia's children will be with her while she is ascending. That is the goal, and that is what the coming energies will do. This wave of the energies are particularly strong in the sense that they need to penetrate a little deeper to particular soul groups and bring these souls a sense of urgency. The souls who are awakening to this wave of energies are going to ascend fast, and that is the design. Due to the planet Earth's ascension schedule, souls who are about to wake up 
need to ascend fast to catch up with the planet and the rest of the human souls. Their schedule be, will be tailored so that they can catch up easily without losing the opportunity. Your father and I have decided to give this late bloomers a shortcut, so to speak, so that eventually they will have the same timelines as the first waivers. That is why this wave of energies are different and make up the energies are different and the impacts of the energies are also severe. So pay attention to what it comes, what it is to come, dear heart. Know the energies are arriving. It is going to be impactful and is going to work on a bigger group of souls. Souls are going to be impacted, will be the ones who are on fast track, and it may take some strenuous effort to be able to adjust to the energies, and that is normal. That is because the energies are loaded with a different rays for the purpose of a fast track, and that is what we have had to do in order to give all souls a chance to wake up. The dragon energies are coming in fully now. I hear the call. I hear the call. That is the nature of all energies, and that is why we want you to hear our calls. Work with the energies, dear children on earth. Know it is a divine blessing, and the energies are going to do wonders for your ascension. And it is time to catch up with the rest of the brothers and sisters, dear heart. I am your mother, God. I love you. I bless you, my precious children on earth. So it is. Linda Lee. So more of the divine goddess energies coming in. Holy, holy. Grace, the next uh, transmission from Grace Solaris, Arcturian High Council. Something profound is happening, a massive shift, almost like a lifting of or disappearing of the gravitational field. The old laws of physics no longer applies. As we rise in vibration and enter the higher dimensional fields of consciousness, new rules, new physical laws orchestrates life. The last days I have sensed like I am weightless. First I th thought it felt like moments of vertigo, but as I allowed myself to feel in and fall, actually it is more like a floating, but I sensed a natural, magnetic pull into the cosmic breath and merging with source energy where you are in complete oneness. In this state I am the wind that moves and caresses the leaves of the tree crowns. I am the ebb and the flow the ebb and the tides, the oceanic waves washing into the shores. I am the galactic plasma rays that pulsates from the sun. I am all life in an ongoing ecstatic love making with source spiraling through wormholes whilst in my human body, my diamond Merkaba dances through space. What miracle of love, what peace and joy awaits thee that surrenders fully to life. Give your wholeheartedly yes and surrender yourself, the I density and story, to God, source, spirit, all that is. By becoming nothing, you become everything, the all-encompassing source of love, the cosmic womb of intelligence. Saying yes and thank you is the ultimate act of gratitude that turns lead into gold. From Grace Solaris. Now from Elizabeth Peru, the Day of the Goddess. Celebrate on Friday the 13th. Dear Cosmic Community, this Friday is one of only two Friday the 13th in 2019 and is a specially charged day where we all celebrate the Cosmic Goddess, feminine power of the universe. I love Friday the 13th and encourage you to as well. I've always began the tip-off forecast week on a Friday in the, in the honor of the Goddess. After all, don't we tend to feel good on a Friday? In ancient lore, Friday was held sacred to the goddess, and 13 is her number. It's only been since the 19th century that superstitions were created about Friday the 13th to try and diminish the feminine power. Re we reclaim it now. And that's from Elizabeth Peru from ElizabethPeru.com. Now today's Dream Spell Journey by Volume Votan and Balonik. Dream Spell Kin 62, Planetary Chamber of Spirit. 12 September 2019, NS1.32.2.21. The 222 energies are coming through this field. Kin 62, White Planetary Wind. The mantra, the code for the day, I perfect in order to communicate. Producing breath, I seal the input of spirit. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of heart. Harmonic 16, crystal input. Inform flowering of cooperation. Column 4 of the solar dragon. So let us know in the comments below, brothers and sisters of the light, what you're experiencing for, through these full moon energies. 
Also last night, after I finished up my work for the day, again around midnight, when I went outside and grounded into the earth, there were many, many flashes of bright white light. As I laid there again, the little soft black ball of fur with the gold eyes came and laid next to me, and the flashes kept were constant all over the sky, and intermittently, some of the bright white flashes, it was blind, blinding white light. There were only a few clouds in the sky, and as I looked at these bright flashing lights and looked away, I looked up and the sky was just full of clouds out of nowhere, and then the rain gently started to come down, and the through the next several hours, it was constant pulsing, flashing, blasting of white light, the still white light. From from our families, our brothers and sisters in the stars, the star nations, as they merge, connect with the star seeds of Earth, the Earth star seeds. So let us know what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you're seeing in these final event energies as we are breaking on through, breaking through all barriers, breaking through all veils, the veil is lifting, all is being revealed in this time of revelation and awakening as we're all lifted up the spiral of this ascension energies. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the little bell next to it. I'd like to thank everyone that has joined us on this mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America and the foothills of the Andes the beautiful, sacred, divine, feminine kundalini of the earth rising from the base of the spine in Ecuador through Peru, through the sacred temples, the kundalini of the earth rising, rising, rising. So you can join us on this mission for raising funds with a CBD business at cbdpeaceoil.com. I'll put the link in the description below and also put a link to the articles that I transmitted today through this field. So have a beautiful and blessed full moon energy, full moon ceremony as the divine goddess rising up to harmonize, to balance the fire and the water come together to create the steam, to create the mist, to create the gentle blissful energy of the new earth. So stay in the heart center, keep going deeper and deeper within into that still center, that still white magnetic light at the center of your being until you fully break on through. Have a beautiful and blessed day. I love you all. Namaste.